In this video I'll be showing you how to change your server's configuration. First of all we need to log into the game panel. Once logged in select game services and then select the server that you wish to edit. For this example I'm going to show you 7 days to die and then I'm also going to show you Emprion because they are edited in slightly different ways. Once you've selected your server go to configuration files. Select the main server configuration which is this one here the pingperfect.xml. I should point out that the configuration file for each game may be different. It may be called something other than pingperfect.xml. Click on configuration editor. Once you've loaded into the configuration editor there are a lot of things that you can change. So for this example I'm just going to change the server name. Once you've changed the options that you want to change simply click save wait for it to finish loading, click on the link above that takes you back to the main page of the game panel and then click restart for it to save and initiate the configuration changes. Once it's finished loading and the PID has changed the server has then restarted and should have the new details. I'm now going to show you Emprion as it's edited in a slightly different way. So we go back to game services, go to Emprion, go to configuration files. As you might notice there are a lot less icons for Emprion. Um, each game has a different set of icons, different things that you can do with it. So if we go to configuration files you'll see that there are a different number of configuration files and there's no configuration editor. So we click on text editor and you can see the text settings for that game server. Now again I just want to change the game server name so we simply edit the game server name again click save wait for it to finish loading go back to the main page of the game server click restart wait for it to finish loading and once the PID has changed the game server is restarted with the new settings and that's how you change the configuration of your server